soaring towards the stratosphere, a balloon carrying an ambitious marketing message, and it's Sheffield University scientists who used the same kit to filter the air 15 miles up and found life that they believe came from outer space. Organisms just two or three times the width of a hair with complex structures that may allow them to eat, breathe and move in their alien world. The scientists say it's the first time they've found direct evidence of extraterrestrial life forms so close to home. This is a completely different view of biology. What this says is that life did not originate on this planet, it originated in space, that it's coming in from space all the time. As I walk out to go and uh, get my dinner tonight, and when I walk out of the building, there's life forms coming. Whether they're alive or not is a, a mute issue, but they're, 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 there's biology coming from space. The specially designed balloon was launched near Chester during the recent Persid meteor shower. Special microscope studs were used to sift for particles. They captured a fragment of a very simple organism called a diatome, a form of algae, but other scientists are sceptical. They say that they don't think it's contamination from the Earth because there were no large volcanic eruptions which could have blown such a material up into space, into the upper atmosphere, um, in the last few months. But one thing that climatologists are realizing is that small volcanoes have a much more profound and far-reaching effect than they'd thought. So I think on balance, I'd say that thing looks more like it's from Earth than from space. The Sheffield scientists say the discovery strengthens the theory that life on Earth may have been seeded by hitchhiking aliens on a passing space rock. The chemical signatures of the bugs will be analysed shortly to confirm they really are extraterrestrial. If so, the textbooks on evolution may have to be rewritten.